All right, guys, uh, we just came in from 600 feet. 800. 800? Yep. We just came we're in. Way out. Yeah. We just came in from 800 feet of water. Uh, we're in about 76 feet now. And um, I just put some squid on. We've got some live shrimp Chris is going to throw on probably and um, see if we could drum up some mutton or uh, we got some chum out here too, I see. Yep, just the last little bit of the chum we had left. Yeah, so. We were coming in, I saw somebody had a sailfish on. I saw it jumping along their boat. So there's sailfish about, so I threw that bar jack out. Yeah, so we got a live bait out too, just in case. Yep. So uh, let's see what we can get on. Absolutely. We'll get on something, all right. <laughs> if you want it, just take it. There we go. That one. It was a nice, it was a nice slam. There you go. I like those. Yeah. Bites. Nice flag yellow would be freaking fantastic. Yeah, it would. I'm getting bites too. Yeah, that was a nice solid, solid bite. But I just want it to be edible. That's the goal here. Woo! Yeah. Porgy. Oh yeah, bring it in. That'll work. Not an amazing size porgy, but it's edible and I get to keep my bait. It's about a pound and a half porgy. I love it when they hit like that though. It's fun to catch. Delicious. I love porgy. Porgy is delicious. Porgy is delicious. The other white meat. When the current's bad, you get sucked under and then it freaking, I'm got a bite, I think. Better not be the current. It better be a bite. Oh. Barely lift it, so I might not get it to the boat. Somebody's getting bites today. It's Jeez. because it's the squid, honey, the squid. It's not, it's not big. It could be a yellow. It's not fighting me. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, what is that called? A uh, aquarium fish. Yeah, a wrasse. It's a wrasse. The blue rat. Pudding wife wrasse, you said? Wrasse. Here's a wrasse. It is. They got big old teeth. Not big. Your, he's not bad. Fish. I'm not too scared of that guy. He's a little fang. He's got, he's got, it looks like he's got two teeth. Yeah, he's kinda, got like fangs. That stick he's he's kind of cute. Fangers. So they're not edible. Oh, uh, they are. They are, but we just we don't eat those. They're they're that's not like an aquarium fish. So I've heard that they're tasty. But... Maybe one day we'll we'll try one. We've had a couple of bigger ones. Next time we get oh, I've one. had a huge one before. I got bites. Uh, I got a fish. You got a fish? Yeah, a nice one. Well, a nice feeling one. Doesn't mean it's nice. I take that back. Oh, I got one too. I got one. Double hookup. Double hookup. Alicia's over there hooked up. She got hooked up first and got then something too. bit mine. Doesn't feel so big anymore. I felt mine good when I felt good when it first took it, but Let's see what you got first. Oh, a grunt. You got a squeaker yellow. You got a squeaker yellow. Mommy got a disgusting grunt. That's a squeak. Oh, that's a that's a keeper. Yeah, I'll probably keep it. For sure. Good job, Daddy. Good job, Mommy. No, Daddy's got to keep the yellow tail. I'm gonna put some meat on. Yeah, he ate meat. What did you got? An ugly grunt. An ugly grunt. We'll get rid of him first. I'm gonna grab some meat. Daddy, that's that. Daddy found a keeper. We got a keeper. I think so. Gonna go home with us, and we're gonna put it in with our mahi BLTs, mahi and yellowtail BLTs. And we'll cut it up. Yeah. Cut it up. Oh yeah, that's them. a keeper, I could tell. Barely. It's a squeaker. It's a squeaker. Oh. It's barely over 12. Hey. Hey, hey. 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 if it's 12, it's 12. <laughs> it's 12, it's 12. Would you put it back? No. no. Going home. Going home. Yeah, baby. Fish on. Yeah. 
It ain't, it ain't swimming anymore, but hopefully it's my yellow tail for the day. All right, well, I can go it. home happy. Don't be a cry. Don't be a fucking cry. Hey, watch your mouth. Where's the baby? He's playing with the thing. Oh, it's a corgi. It's yep. too small. No, it's not. You okay? Girls are the best. Girls are the best. Are we doing that already? Oh, we got a fish on. Yeah. Ooh. Angry fish. Angry fish. He does not want to come up. You got a fighter? Got a little head shaker. He's not heavy. Head shaker. Oh, it's just a uh, no, it's a trigger. Trigger, yeah. Trigger. Trigger. Okay. I touch it. You can touch him. He's smooth. Wow. They have, yeah. teeth. they have little teeth, but they're not they're not too bad. They're pretty friendly. Yeah. And I can touch him. Yeah, and they're they're good eating, but he's too small. Oh, I touched his eyeball too. You touched his eyeball. You did. She did. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. They've yeah. got little thumb holds right oh, here. Oh, daddy's got them if you want to. Basically, see. grab them right there and they don't move. Here, you want to touch them? There you go. Off you go, Trigger. I gotcha. I gotcha, sucker. I gotcha. Gotcha, sucker. Got one. <laughs> what you got? He thought he was smarter than me. It's not a trigger pole. No. Something small. Oh, you got. You foul hooked a baby, Trigger. Yeah. You're dumb. Why touch it? Look what I did to him. I got him in the belly. A baby. I'm gonna eat Whoa, 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 that's a fish. That might be. Yep, fish. Whoa, fish. fish. Good fish. Daddy's good got fish. a good fish on. We have a we got a live bait live, on. Live bait on. 75 feet of water. Woo, it's coming running. Up, coming up. Oh, it's just cut off. I don't know what it was. Maybe probably a shark. Probably got shark. Probably a shark. Uh-oh. It's a shark. Yep. So probably bad a shark. That. I know. So you get to see I what it know. is. Trust me, I know. This is me off to. Bait out, oh, it's yeah, it's gonna disappear. Cut me off. All right, guys, I've got all my ingredients laid out. We're gonna do the uh, baked snapper again. So, we've got uh, a little bit of um, actually mainly porgy, the white is the porgy, and then a little bit of yellow tail. And so, we're gonna put that on the uh, the top of all these delicious vegetables. And again, just a little bit of shrimp uh, to kind of you know fill in the, the blanks a little bit since we didn't catch a whole lot this time but hey you know sometimes that's fishing and we still got enough to this is actually lunch we're making lunch right now so uh, we're also going to do a, a little bit of brown rice we're gonna serve this right over the top of some brown rice which is absolutely delicious so first things first let's go ahead and get our oven going preheating to 350 so we're gonna preheat that to 350 and then we're going to uh, just a, a regular glass uh, baking dish we're going to spray that bottom just a little bit so it doesn't stick with some olive oil spray. And then we're pretty much just going to line the bottom with all of our vegetables. So spread those out nicely. And same thing with the eye. And I basically got coarse chopped these uh, bell peppers. I'll roll some, uh, some chopping uh, footage in. But pretty much just one inch sizes. Um, you know, yeah, we want, I like it pretty coarse because we like to be able to taste our veggies. And then same thing with the onions. I'm going to kind of crunch these up a little bit because they're still kind of a little sticking but yeah just spread this all around we're basically just making a nice bed for our fish and it's gonna bake right on top of all this delicious vegetables there we go so we've got I got two bell peppers in here and half of a large onion so that's uh that works out just about perfect we want about a half and half ratio and that looks really good so from there we're gonna put our fish in. So let's go ahead and open our fish up here. And I'll have this recipe linked below in the uh, description just in case you guys want a, uh, 
a step-by-step, -step, but this one's super duper easy. That's one of the reasons why we like this recipe and it comes out just absolutely really delicious. So we're just gonna grab all of our fish here and just lay it on in there. All around. All right, then we're gonna take our shrimp and I just kind of line the sides of the pan with the, uh, the shrimpies. The dogs in the background, they are playing. Don't mind them. All right, so we got our shrimp lined up in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our butter here, and I'll move this over here. We're gonna take our butter and just, I, I, I cut up one small half cube of butter, and we're just gonna kind of line the pan. You know what? I take that back. I forgot one thing. We gotta season this. We gotta season it up. Paul Prudhomme Seafood Magic. I will use this very, very heavily on this recipe because we haven't really seasoned anything up. So we're gonna season the top sides of these fish really, really, really good. And then that butter is gonna take all this seasoning down into the veggies and everything. So very generous with our seafood magic here. Perfect. And now we lay our butter in there. Almost forgot a step and that would be catastrophic. We got a season. All right, so we're just kind of laying our butter in there all around. We'll put that nice big one right there in the middle. And that butter, like I said, is gonna melt and just seep down into the veggies. And that is perfect. So that's it, that's our uh, baked snapper ready to go in the oven. We're gonna cook this for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then once it's, uh, once it's done cooking, um, we will, we'll take it out. I usually go, I usually go about 25 minutes for when I have a lot of fish in there. Uh, 20 minutes probably for this one with uh, not as much fish in. So after 20 minutes, we'll take it out. We're gonna sprinkle it with some Italian style breadcrumbs. I know the recipe calls for panko, but I didn't have any panko. Um, and we'll make like a little bit of a, uh, uh, a little bit of extra, you know, uh, melted butter, and that'll kind of, you know, crust up the, uh, the the breadcrumbs. So I'll show you guys that as soon as this is out of the oven. So let's go ahead and put that on in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. Again, we are set to 350. Our oven is done preheating. So we'll put that right on in there. And 20 minutes, so we'll set a timer for 20 minutes. And there we go. We'll see you guys in 20. We'll pull that out and we'll top it. All right, so we got about a little less than 10 minutes to go. We're gonna go ahead and get this water boiling. Um, we got this brown rice we're gonna do. Uh, we got four cups of water in there and we're gonna bring that to the boil and just add that boil in bag rice and we'll do uh, our fish, uh, fish and vegetables over some brown rice. It'll be absolutely delicious. Really simple, easy guys. This is uh, just one of those things where we're trying to do just a nice quick lunch, um, you know, 30 minutes, that's it. And uh, you're in and out of the kitchen and eating, so. Uh, sometimes after a long day on the boat, that's exactly what we need. So we are, we went out yesterday, so this fish is uh, from yesterday, but uh, wanted to have that for lunch and uh, and have a nice little uh, nice little fish fish lunch. So, all right, our water is at a nice boil, so we're gonna take this boiling bag of rice and just drop her on in there. We'll make sure it's nice and submerged, and we're just gonna do it says eight to ten minutes on that, so we'll give eight to ten minutes. And that should be done just about the same time as our fish. Our fish has five minutes left, just a little under five minutes left. And then we're gonna throw the broiler on and, and brown the top of those breadcrumbs. So I'll show you guys that in uh, just a couple of minutes here. All right, so I let the fish go just a couple more minutes because the veggies were still looking a little bit crisp, but our rice is done. So it says grab it with a fork and just pull it on out of there. And we're gonna let it drain. So we'll put it right in there. And let's go ahead and pull this fish out and see how, oh my gosh, that looks so good. That looks fantastic, y'all. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put breadcrumbs on top. And I forgot in the recipe it said uh, to spoon the liquid that's in the bottom, which is all that butter and everything. So we shouldn't need that other butter. Um, but let's see, as long as we've got enough liquid down in there, yeah, I think we're, we're in good shape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that liquid right there. So we're gonna take our breadcrumbs and we're gonna make a little, little crust here.
And while we're doing that, before I forget, we need to turn the broiler on. So turn broiler on high. There we go. Put just a little bit more breadcrumbs on there. I really like this more with panko. I think it comes out a little bit better. But I was out of panko. So Italian style breadcrumbs it be. All right, so now all you're gonna do is just kind of tilt up a little bit. You're gonna grab this juice and you're just gonna sprinkle it over the top here. And it just really makes that topping absolutely delicious. So let's get it nice and moist with all that butter and juice and just absolute love potion down in there as my buddy Rob would say, who lives about two streets over from us. If you're into fishing videos, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Mr. Deer Meat for dinner. All right, so we're going to put that back on into the oven with the broiler on. There we go. And let that go for probably about five minutes, but we're going to check it every couple of minutes and uh, make sure it's not burning or anything. So, All right, so I got a helper. She's ready for lunch. You want to see yeah. how you want to see how this looks? Let's take a look. You want to take a peek? Oh, oh. hang on, it's hot. It looks delicious. Y'all, yeah. you ready to pull it out? Daddy's gonna do it. <laughs> All right, stand back. You guys want some uh, some shrimp and some fish with some rice? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I like the rice. You like the rice? All right, well, you guys go ahead and go back in the living room and I'll plate this on up and bring it to you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and plate this up. As you can see, the girls are hungry. So we're just gonna do a little bit of rice on the bottom down there, make a nice little bed. And we're gonna take some delicious fish and we're gonna get some veggies in there and some shrimp. Make sure you get some juice. Get it nice and over the top there. That fish is absolutely flaky and white and perfect. And I like a lot of veggies on mine. So there we go. What do you think guys, looks pretty good? Let's try one of those shrimpies, I can't wait, I'm sorry. Oh man, that is just so good. Delicious. Okay. I'm going to get this out of the girls. Obviously, it's steaming hot, so it can cool off a little bit. But Alicia and the girls are hungry. We're going to have lunch. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. We are a smaller channel, so every little like helps. We do totally appreciate that. And uh, subscribe if you want to see when new videos come out. We've got a couple of uh, freshwater videos coming up after this one. All right, guys, have a great one.